Hey guys, it's Ms. Smith, and today I'm going to be talking about how to complete assignments digitally. So basically how to work on the assignments and what sort of expectation, what are the expectations when you are doing an assignment. Alrighty, so let's say this is our assignment. So first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make a copy because remember, I want to make a copy for me as the student. I want to make sure my name is in my assignment okay so make sure your name is in your assignment so that way it's yours when your your when your teacher opens it the teacher knows that that is your assignment after you name it what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put it in the appropriate folders please make sure to watch the video on organizing your google folders so I'm going to put it in Tech Day Instructional Segment Zero, and that's where I'm going to put this assignment because this is what this specific assignment belongs in that specific folder. So I'm going to put this assignment in Instructional Segment Zero, and once I've made my copy, I can now go ahead and type on it. It is officially my own. Alrighty. So first things first, I want to put my name. Now, even though I put my name in the title, I still need to put my name. So what I need to do is I'm going to put my name. Oops. Now, I also need to make sure that that my name is in the color blue. And the reason why is because as the teacher, when we're grading these assignments, it's easier for us to find the to find your work, to distinguish your work from from the other because from because look at the questions right all the questions are in black so your answers need to be in blue that that is a requirement yes your answers must be in blue all right so same thing let's say i'm in period three and today's date let's say depending on when you're watching this i'm just going to assume we're watching this for day for day one so August 3rd, again, you could be watching this at a different time, but I'm just going to assume that it's August 3rd as that is the first day of school. All right. So this video that you're watching right now, that you are watching right now will be here, right here. Watch video. So if I click it and open it, it'll take me to this video that you're currently watching right now. As I scroll down through the rest of the assignments, or excuse me, the rest of the sections, there will be a YouTube video and answering these questions. Now, granted, you should have already watched all of these videos prior to doing this assignment. However, if you if your teacher is sending it to you in a different way where they just sent you the assignment instead of giving you all the videos first, that's completely fine. The videos are on the on this assignment as well for you to navigate for you to watch and navigate through it and read it. Okay. Now, regardless of this particular assignment, all of your assignments, right? You are making a copy of your assignment sent to you by your teacher. Now, how did you get a copy of this particular assignment? So all you had to do, depending on where you found this assignment, you either opened up, open this particular assignment up in your agenda, or you opened it up in Jupyter. Again, it depends on where you got this assignment. So how did I make my own copy? How did I get my own copy of this assignment? What I did was I went to file. So, oops. So that's what I'm going to do. Went to File, clicked Make a Copy, saved it in the appropriate. Ooh, hold on. Went to File and clicked a Copy. Yeah, and saved it in the appropriate folders. And again, I want to, this to be in blue, so I'm gonna highlight in blue. 
Notice where I answered this question. I answered the question directly in the box, okay? So if there's a box there for you to fill in, please make sure you fill your answer in the box. All right, next question. What color should my answers be for all assignments? All assignments. My answers... Let's use a real, let's use a complete sentence, sorry. For all assignments, my answers need to be in blue. Go ahead, make sure it's in blue. What do I do with extra spaces or lines? So sometimes when you have an assignment, there'll be extra spaces because maybe you didn't need all of that space to type. Some assignments, we expect you to fill in all the spaces or all the lines, okay? If you're given 10 lines, I would hope you would fill in that answer about 10 lines. Sometimes the answers are pretty straightforward and only require one sentence. However, when you complete the assignments, it will leave more space. So what you need to do is get rid of that extra space. This is what we don't want to see. We don't want to see you click on this line, start typing away, and then leave it alone. It just looks messy, and it, it just, just don't do that, okay? So what you need to do is instead of just leaving all that space. If I have extra spaces or lines, I need I need to delete them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete this extra line, right? I'm going to also put this same thing, right? If I have extra space in this box, right, what I need to do is I need to delete it. If I delete all this extra space and lines, right, It'll, your assignment will look more clean, it'll look more cohesive, instead of your assignment being like 10 pages when it doesn't need to because of all that space, okay? So make sure you delete any extra lines or spaces, all right? Now, I'm not going to do the rest of the assignment for you. It should be pretty self-explanatory. But as far as for any assignment, regardless if you are doing this actual assignment or not, reminders. Make your own copy by going to File, Make a Copy, and save it in the appropriate folders. Make sure all your answers are in the color blue. Make sure you delete any extra spaces or lines, and make sure your name is on the assignment. That I didn't want to put a question for that because that's pretty self-explanatory, okay? So make sure to remember all these things for any assignment that you do, okay? I hope this video has been helpful to you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.